The next step is step five, and that uses uh, bag four and six. This is the side frame bag. Now the the first thing I do is uh, I have to we have to move two holes per side frame. We have to move. Uh, this hole down here, over here, and this hole here, down here. And we also need to sand off these, these lugs. This frame spacer is no longer used here. So the dimensions are in the instructions. You go 37.5 millimeters from the bottom up to find this hole location and it's in line with this one. And then you measure up from this bottom 81 millimeters up to find this hole location, straight up from this hole. And then just sand off this lug. And then on these bottom plates, we also have you add two additional holes on either side of this hole. And they're uh, centered on this hole, and they're 6.5 millimeters from the end end from the sides in and that'll locate those holes and these holes are all clearance holes so you need to be a little bit bigger than two millimeter okay I drilled the uh, additional holes here and here and ground off the tab here and then I added the uh, two extra holes per the instructions here which are all clearance holes The next thing you want to do is figure out which nacelle side frame is which so the countersunks, countersinks go to the outside. So set your frames up so the countersinks are all visible. And then set your side frames up so the outer countersinks on the four side frame set are to the back. And the inner countersinks are to the front if this is, if this is forward. And if this is forward, and this is left, and this is right, and these countersinks are to the back, and these countersinks are to the back, and these two are to the front, then you have your nacelles the way they go on the aircraft. So keeping them in that order, mark. I usually just put a circle around here. This is where your spindle goes. And an L to mark that this is the left. And then a, a circle around here. And then an R to mark for your right nacelle. So that'll indicate that's your inboard uh, right hand side frame. And this is your outboard side frame. And this is your left hand set. So keep those in sets and don't get them mixed up. And you'll have a lot less hassle. So why I have. Uh, uh, these packs open, I'm going to open up the bearing block pack and I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did to the uh, other bearing blocks and that's install the bearings early. I'll use some cleaner and I'll go around each bearing And I'll clean the inside of each bearing block. And place a small drop, drop of red. And ins install them in the bearing blocks, twisting them a little bit to get a good even distribution and wiping off the excess. Now 
Make sure those are fully seated and let them set to cure out. The next uh, thing we look at is the servo mounts themselves. These these white plastic servo mounts are, are drilled for a servo that has two screws to, uh, per lug and uh, the high tech uh, 5085 MG servo that we recommend for the kit has one so you need to go in there between the two existing screw holes and add a third screw hole. This screw hole has to be drilled small enough so a two millimeter screw will thread into it. Do that for all eight blocks. So I drilled all these. Uh, I just lay them over a block of wood and drill them from this side. And you can center that drill bit in there between those other two holes pretty easily. It goes pretty quick. Just make sure you use the right size drill bit so a two millimeter screw will thread right into that hole. Uh, so making sure you you know which side frame is which and you don't get those mixed up go ahead and install these servo mount blocks using the small countersunk, countersunk screws that come in the kit so I drilled all these uh, I just lay them over a block of wood and drill them from this side and you can center that drill bit in there between those other two holes pretty easily it goes pretty quick just make sure you use the right size drill bit so a two millimeter screw will thread right into that hole. Before I install these uh, servo mount blocks, I'll take a, an X-Acto knife and give it a little lead in to these screw holes here. And that'll just make them easier to install. Making sure you, you know which side frame is which and you don't get those mixed up, go ahead and install these servo mount blocks using the small countersink countersunk screws that come in the kit. Just install them where uh, each of the countersink hole sets are. Uh, two per servo cutout. And leave them loose. Don't tighten them up until after we install the servos. The next thing we have to do is trim the uh, cell uh, side post. This goes on the inboard side of the cell, and is only needed if you're going to do the scale kit. Uh, it's get trim. It gets trimmed to one centimeter. So just mark it and use a cutoff wheel or a hacksaw and then uh, file it nice and square. Okay, I trimmed them to 10 millimeters and they go on the inside side frame into the new uh, hole location. I don't use the beauty washer, you can't see it anyway, it's on the inside of the side frame. I just tighten it up. Get the other side frame set, keeping them separate. Lock tight. Make sure when you, after you cut these, you give them a grind nice and, or file nice and square so they uh, sit square, sticking out of the side frame.
Okay, that's the end of step five.